I'll do is I'll read over the question, we'll talk about the concept on the right side of the page, and then we'll solve the problem. One thing to do whenever you're given a question is you want to look at it and you want to make sure you uh, catch all the details. So the first thing you always look at is what, if they give you a diagram, make sure you uh, look over the diagram. It has a Richter magnitude on the left and it has energy units released on the right. Five, and then a five appears to be the same as if we were comparing this, it appears to be equal to 1.8 times 10 to the sixth. Now right away I can see that this problem involves numbers written in scientific notation. So I'm going to have to understand that concept. In a moment we'll, write a, we'll talk about it on the right side. But right away if I studied that part of math, scientific notation, I've got to retrieve it right now so I can solve the problem. But let's first read the question. The Richter scale is a system used by geologists for measuring the severity of earthquakes. What is the difference expressed in two significant different digits between the amount of energy released in an earthquake of Richter magnitude 5 and an earthquake of magnitude 4? Okay, now there's some interesting elements here as far as language goes. One, we're going to be comparing the difference. So sometimes this can get confusing, but I think what it's saying is, what is the energy released in, a, uh, in an earthquake with a magnitude of 5, whatever that is, minus whatever that energy is released in a 4? And that's going to get us our answer. So basically I'm going to be subtracting whatever the energy is in a 5 earthquake with a 4 earthquake. Okay, but then it has this other element. It says two significant d digits. We'll talk about that in a moment. But I just want to point out that these answers here are all written to the nearest two significant digits. Okay, now in order to make sense of what uh, this uh, value is, 1.8 times 10 to the 6, we have to understand um, what scientific notation is and, how, and um, how we write it, how we use it. So let's start by uh, looking at 1.8 times 10 to the 6. What that really is saying is 1.8 times, this is like 1, this is like 10 times 10 6 times. Or we could think of it as 1 and 6 zeros. So this is the same as saying 1.8 times 10 to the 6 is the same as saying 1.8 times a million. Uh, it's pretty easy to get that million. We start by, we keep the number 1, and we just, or whatever that first digit is, and then we add the 6 zeros. Okay, another way to do that, to do this problem, is to just start with the 1.8 and add 6 spaces. So let's... Uh, Let's add those six spaces to sort of make our lives easier. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Drop that zero. Now I'm because the eight already takes up one of those spaces, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not adding six zeros. I'm really adding eight spaces. The first one is an eight, and there's five more. But in total, in total, there are going to be six spaces after the one, after the first digit, which is why it's 10 to the sixth. Okay, so 1.8 times 10 to the sixth is really equal to this number here. Well, this is the millions, and this is a hundred thousands, so I could say this is 108,000, you know, um, units of energy released. Okay, that's cool. Well, what about, um, let's enlarge this. Let's, uh, what about the other one? Okay, well, if it was a f um, five, the 4 earthquake is equal to 5.6 times 10 to the 4th. Oh, I don't want to change those units. I, oh, I guess it's changed. That's okay, 10 to the 4th. Well, again, that's the same as 5.6, moving it over 
a couple spaces. So I have 5.6 and I move it over one space, two, three, four. When I say move over, it means I'm moving that decimal over. So I'm going to get 56,000. Again, another way to think about this is to do 5.6 times 10 to the fourth would be just one and four zeros. Uh, excuse me, four zeros. So that's going to be uh, times uh, 10,000. Okay. So now we have here, um, now we have here what the essential ingredients we need to solve this problem. An earthquake with a magnitude of 5 is really equal to 1,800,000 1, and uh, earthquake with a, a value uh, with a Richter scale of 4 is really equal to 56,000. Major difference here. So when we subtract, because we're looking for the difference between the first to the second, we get 0, 0, 0. Now, I can't take 6 away from 0, right? So I've got to cross out the 8 and make it a 7, carry the 10. And then I'm going to cross out the 10, make that a 9, and then make this one right here a 10. So now I have 10 take away 6, gets us 4. I have 9 take away 5, gets us 4. There's no value here, so it's just 7. And this one right here is, would be 1 or a million. So when I, subtract, when I subtract these two, I get 1,744,000 units of energy. Now at this point, we're done. Except there's one little piece of information we're missing. And that's this two significant digits part. What it's saying is, um, don't want to do that. What it's saying is that we want to go back and we want to look at this value, but only we're only interested in the first two digits, which means these ones right here. That means that we have to think about if we're going to round this number. Now, our rounding rules clearly state that when rounding, we look to the, the number that precedes the last digit. And we ask ourselves, is it greater than or equal to 5? Because if it's greater than or equal to 5, we would be rounding this up to 1,800,000. If it's less than 5, we round down. Or in this case, just cancel these all out. So the answer would be 1,700,000. And if we were to go backwards with a scientific notation, I hear, I'll write that answer here. 1,700,000. If we think about this moving backwards now, I'm going to be taking that big number and writing it in uh, scientific notation. We'd ask ourselves, how many units am I moving this decimal over? So I'm, I'm left with, you know, one before the decimal and then what's, what's ever left. Well, it looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So that means it would be 10 to the sixth power. So we have here, I didn't want to turn that into green or whatever color that is. I want to keep it as 10 to the 6. So our answer is actually 1.7 times 10 to the 6, or 1,700,000 when we round to the nearest, uh, when we round to the first two significant digits. So D is our answer. Okay, team, I hope you found this helpful just as a review of scientific notation and on solving an m light MTEL test uh, like problem. It's a little tricky at first, and I do think that, you know, just getting the basics that we're finding the difference between the first one written out all the way out and the second one all the way out is definitely the first step. But we're also getting our answer, and we have to think about it in terms of uh, first two significant digits, which is just a basic way of saying we, we're only going to be looking at two digits in this answer and rounding it up from um, the last two digits up. Thank you, team, very much. Hope you found this helpful. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi, team.
Take advantage of some of the upcoming MTEL workshops in Harvard Square on May 5th, 2012 and in the Framingham area on May 6th. Hope you can make it. Once again, this is Chris from GoMath.com.